Hey guys, welcome. Today is day 5 of IAE 2953, the Drake Day. Speaking of Drake, I personally think that one of the most iconic Drake ships is the Mule. So in this video, I am gonna check out the Mule really quick, test out its cargo grid, and especially see if the forklift works or not. Let's go. I have prepared a little cutter for this mule. This is going to be a perfect fit. Ooh, this is a very tight fit. You cannot get out of the ship without taking the mule out. But you can get inside the pilot seat, no problem. Alright, we have arrived at this place called Riari Envic Research Outpost. It is on Microtech, it is on Cliope, and apparently this is one of the outposts that does not have a vehicle pad. You can see we have two landing pads for ships, but we do not have vehicle pads. But I think we can get some cargo to test the mule. So this is habitation. I don't think this is the place we can buy cargo. It's where it shows yellow lights. That's where you can buy the cargo. Let me see. Yep. It says storage. Over here. Ooh, nice little place. Growing tomorrow, today. What? All right. Here is the commodity shop. The cutter has four SCU. Just buy one SCU. I am so glad the mule is not as loud as before. As long as you don't drive it. When you drive it, it's it's quite loud. But uh, when you stop, you don't have to turn off the engine. It's not as loud. Okay, before we start, if you are new to the mule, there is a couple things. So there is a one little weapon rack over here. And I think it is functional. Last time I tested, it is functional. You can place... C-54 or FS-9 or a sniper rifle. You cannot place a real gun. You cannot put tractor beam or your med gun or pistol here. Over here and you have... Uh, you also have an external storage over here for 125k micro ICU. So you can place a couple things. Maybe a helmet. I, I can't place a helmet. I can place... Yeah, I can put my weapon over here and my pistol in here. So this little button is for... External storage. This little button is for weapon rack. And this little button is for computer and components over here. You also have, um, you can see power plant and battery over here. Whoa. Whoa! Did I just move this car? <laughs> I just moved the mule with my tractor beam. It's only 5.2 tons. And over here is the fuel port. Over here is a cooler and radar. And you can take these components out. But to be careful, you might drag the ship with you. Okay, so let's test the cargo grid in the back. So we have one IC of cargo grid. Uh, I think you have to be very precise for this. Huh. Let me see this way. Oh, there we go. Ah, it snaps. Okay. So you have to be quite precise for this. I'm going to take it out. Let me see if I can drive backwards and it will automatically snap or not. Okay. So. Let's see. Whoa. I think this is even more difficult than using the tractor beam. Ooh. Yeah, it's a uh, it's quite difficult. So it's best to use the tractor beam. My tractor beam doesn't work. The drop on the floor. Um pick it up. Okay, now it works. So, if it doesn't work on the pad, drop it on the floor and pick it up. Most of the time, it will work again. Oh! What? It doesn't work now? No! It doesn't! 
Oh no, it doesn't work. It worked earlier, but it doesn't work now. You know the mule has a temper. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. Nope, it's not working. Let's try the forklift. Forklift deployed. Let's see. Nope, I don't think so. Ooh. Don't run away! I think the forklift is supposed to be... It's like a tractor beam, but... Uh, it's a uh, tractor in the middle. Of those two, you know, those two forklifts over there. Sort of, uh... Snap the box. But I don't think it, it really works. If it works, this is gonna be the most inefficient work ever in Star Citizen. No! It doesn't. And track the beam doesn't work again, so drop it on the floor. And pick it up. There we go. Okay, I don't think it works. No, it does not snap at all. But the problem is the back doesn't work either. It worked for once, and that's it. Nope, it doesn't work. Well, what do you know? It's a Drake ship. It's a Drake vehicle. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> okay, last thing is over here. You, you can see it says cargo, cargo, cargo. So these you can put... Oh, I think now I can... Yep, yeah, you can carry this. And then come over here. Just click place. It will place this armor here. Also including, I think it's a quarter SCU box. You can buy those at the refinery. So if you want to go do some bunkers, you can put some food and water and ammo in there. And you can place on top of this mule. You can place one, two, three. And you can also place four, five, six. You can place a six of them. So it's actually quite useful. It's um, The mule is quite little cute, quite useful ship. Just how you use it and i really hope the uh cargo grid is not you know broken and uh, the forklift work as well it's it's fun it's not really effective or productive at all it's just little fun thing to use and to do because the drick mule is actually really good vehicle very useful small and nimble you can put in a lot of ships including the cutter and you can place a weapon and some external storage so very good i just hope soon that uh the drink mule can be fully functional all right ladies and gentlemen this is it for this little test i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you in the next one and thanks for watching